My, hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and I'm coming to you live from round six of the Concordon Galactic Championship Qualifier. For anybody who watches this in the future on YouTube, it is now 4 a.m. in Chicago. We've been awake since 6 p.m. the day before. If, we, uh, if, if I sound a little loopy and or tired and or kind of talk really stupid during this match, I'm very sorry. I'm going to do our best here, but a li little bit rough. Didn't quite we, get to We're professional podcasters here. We <laughs> talk right. We talk swell. <laughs> That's right. Super good. So my, <laughs> my co-hosts for this round are... Say it, say it, go, go, go. Hello, and I'm D. Yoon, <laughs> uh, not Morales, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the judge today, as per the usual. <laughs> and here I am, not doing my job and commentating on, for the for your pleasure on stream instead. And with us, in addition, is the glorious. Oh, Nick, the man who once table flipped Sperry. <laughs> All right. And you chose this match. I you, did. I you did. selected this match to, to be on stream from the garden, my my garden of lists, hand and an artisanal, locally sourced match for our viewing pleasure. Farm to table, farm to table. <laughs> <laughs> Which I will not flip. I will not flip the chat. Two hundred and seventy nine people watching. I will not be so, flipping this table. What do we got here, Nick? What are we looking at? Yeah. So uh, let's bring it down. Let's take a look at Rogelio's list on the left. We got this very interesting uh, matchup, just period. But Rexler Brath without maneuver, advanced sensors, and jamming beam, and Grand Inquisitor with supernatural reflexes, advanced sensors, and concussion missiles. Well, so, <laughs> advanced sensors and supernatural reflexes. Yes. That's baller. <laughs> it is incredible. It's like, hey, my bid's too deep. I need to slap on another 10 points, advanced sensors. We we have occasionally seen the Rexler Brath Darth Vader do well, but uh, now we we got a Grand Inquisitor with more tools. He's less punchy, uh, but uh, more uh, defensive. And uh, well, this is kind of, this is astonishing. Yeah. Well, I, I love I love how the how the Grand Inquisitor can go like I'm not gonna just move once. I'm gonna move twice before I activate, <laughs> and then do my maneuver. What? Double repositioning. Pretty cheeky uh, there. On the right side here, we've got Sebastian uh, Demers. Demers. I apologize if I pronounce his last name incorrectly. Uh, with Epsilon Squadron Cadet. Epsilon Squadron Cadet. <laughs> Epsilon. <laughs> I will not say that eight times. You're committed. Eight, oh, eight, no, eight so weak. Squadron <laughs> Cadet. You, you st you're supposed to finish what you start. <laughs> I just I can't what, do it to myself. Actually, what 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 I like is uh, Sebastian here is he's just plunking down eight focus tokens on the board. Like he's he's not uh, doing them individually either. It's party Fan. time, folks. We we this is entropy right here. This is what it is all about. We are we are. What are the records? They're both four and one, so this is absolutely a meaningful game. If anybody questioned, my, of course it's a meaningful game, folks. It's round six. Come on. That's right. Uh, yeah, both are four and one, so this is a play-in game. Loser doesn't make the cut, potentially unless they have great MOV, correct? Dion, that's uh, possible. Mm, I, with the top sixteen, I'll, I'll do I'll do a Swiss triangle double check. I don't. Or thirty-two I don't know. rather, the top thirty-two. I know sixteen is the cut for tomorrow, but to right. get a pin in the end, mm -hmm. it's possible. Maybe. I think. I'll, maybe. I'll go take a peek. Let's see, 130 players. We forced that six-round count. By the way, if you never use Swiss Triangle, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, no, and yeah, then, so the, some this matchup is... Go ahead. Okay. No, I was just saying, fifth, uh, so 15, three, three six and O's, 12, five and ones, which gives us 15 minus 32. So that would be 15, 16, 17. 17, three and twos will... Uh, four and twos, excuse me, will make oh. it. <laughs> We are seeing some K-turns by the Ooh. by the Focho. He's gonna have to drop down an eight pack of uh, stress tokens. <laughs> you so don't Nick, you around? you did find a match where uh, we we have the the two complete opposite ends uh, of the spectrum. We've we've got the minimum of ships and two uh, right. high priced, expensive loaded aces. Uh, and then perhaps the 
the epitome, the epitome of uh, pure efficiency and the maximum number of ships, uh, eight in uh, the first order Ocho, the Focho. Yeah, and so I think Rogelio is going to have, this is a big challenge for him, especially with uh, considering he has two ships that are going to be trying to arc dodge and are definitely going to be better off against smaller quantity lists or aces lists. So if he is able to take Sebastian down here in this last game, that's going to be you know, very impressive. So it's going to come down to focus and, and pilot skill here piloting. It's so, it's yeah. honestly frustrating on both ends because I've played both ends of um, these sort of matchups. Uh, for Rogelio, it's it's uh, you know it's a patience game. Got to got to just uh, nibble and get right. uh, points where you can. Uh, meanwhile, Seba Sebastian has to bully and try and uh, you know, corner and, and pin an opponent, and hope his uh, little little uh, adorable two die attacks can punch through all this defense and force and sh uh, all these shields and such. Now, one of the things I want to bring up here is um, both players are playing extremely patient, at least to start. And I think this is the test to see if one of them would be willing to over pursue the other. Because both of these lists prefer to be chased, right? It's like, hey, I have eight ships, final salvo. There's no reason for me to chase you. And then uh, Rogelio on his chance is like, hey, hey over-pursue me so that I can use my pre-reposition uh, to put you in a bad spot and uh, and begin to nibble, like you said. So uh, we'll see who ends up breaking first. By the way, <laughs> there is two minutes and change left in the betting. So if you wanted to do that, go ahead and get that done. Also, this round and all of our rounds this weekend have been brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code CONCORDON2020 for 20% off. You need the link to the website. Type exclamation point CP curled paw in the uh, in the chat and we can get that done. Take it away, boys. And uh, Concord Dawn is brought to you by D Yoon's <laughs> dog Whisper for all your for all your uh, doggy your doggo needs. <laughs> woof, woof, call woof. call on my dog and, and she will she will bark at you because oh if, if you if you're mad at Ryan Farmer of, of the Fly Better podcast, uh, just call on Whisper and she will bark nonstop at him. Because she hates him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. I'm pretty sure uh, Zach Matthews has a cat named Whisper. It's well. true. Oh, he was he was he actually asked me for permission to use that name. I'm like, dude, go go right ahead. Like, yeah. um, how good was Sebastian's group K turn? He he basically said, "Look, I know you're not going to turn Rexler Brath right into my teeth." So I'm going to point my teeth the other way. Mm-hmm. Cojones, some would say. <laughs> now, you now, wonder who? if Rahelio is going to try to brush those teeth at any point with his two ships or <laughs> maybe go a more floss-type route. Now, he, uh, he, you know, <laughs> just, just put a finger in there to, to test for gingivitis. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. We I'm, are. Too tired. Yeah. I'm too tired. I'm like too tired to care. Right? <laughs> to be completely I, I'm here to entertain the chat. Oh, he. Oh, Dion did not commit to our metaphor. I. I you gotta be a team player. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, He's like. I, I, I don't know. Sleep, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, both players have a tough choice here. How are they uh, going to? Ooh, we have. We do have a turn in. Uh, mm -hmm. Although the Grand Ooh, Inquisitor the can easily bail out. Now, he, here's a question I, I'm curious with. Or, like, sorry, let me try to restate that question. Do you believe <laughs> it is easier to push damage through the Inquisitor or through... Like, if you had a choice to get shots on the Inquisitor or into the Defender, Rexler Brath, who would you want to be able to shoot to? Oof. You need to do four, all four shields worth of damage on that defender, backed up typically by full throttle and uh, you know three evade dice and whatever else is Rexler <laughs> has. But on the other hand, shoot, there's like the force and all this crazy double preposition on the Grand Inquisitor. It's a nightmare. Yeah, I think if you're able to get shots on Grand Inquisitor, that half point threshold is lower, so you could get lucky, plink off a shield with one of your, you know, what four to eight shots. Hey, hey, that's math. <laughs> doing two damage is easier than doing four damage. What? <laughs> that is math. You're right. Numbers. 
<laughs> and it, it occurred to me when Dio mentioned uh, that boost, I realized I'm lagging behind. I should probably join the actual uh, TTS match. Ah, yeah. That's... <laughs> that'll help. That'll help. There it so, is. Okay. So we've got a little bit of time. So it's something I actually wanted to talk about with, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Dion, with how things started today with, you know, we had some, some connectivity issues. Things were going at a little bit slower of a pace naturally because of all these things. Yeah. And then just the last four games, including, you know, the mm -hmm. last few have been just ultra light speed fast. And very yes. Violent. And we've had a lot of extra time left over. It's something that I, it's the first I've experienced, you know, working with you on any of these uh, tournaments. It's been really strange today. <laughs> well, so the way one of the patterns. One of the patterns I'm noticing, um, you know, aside from from the Nantex and probably this matchup, is in all of those other ones, people are bringing hammers. They are bringing lists that are able to punch hard with the hope of, if you play against a Nantex, just being able to kill some on the, in the initial engagement and hoping that that is enough to push you through in that matchup. We have, uh, you know, we had Dash out there. We had the Triple Proton Torpedo Rebels. Um, last Ring Ray is a hammer, right? Like, the, there are these lists that people are just bringing to try to try to initiative kill the Nantex. So I think that is what is leading to these longer games. Uh, or sorry, those shorter games. But this match, for instance, is going to be a longer match. These are trying to uh, win that game of attrition. Right. And uh, what Sebastian's done here is he has kind of, sort of, turned it into a uh, 2v2, where he split up his Focho into two quads, two groups of four, uh, in, in order to basically treat each one like, like a ship. Now, presumably, when uh, the engagement uh, inevitably happens, uh, he'll be able to bust them, like break them out even further uh, to to block and to you know do all sorts of harassment. Uh, but for the moment, this this is effectively a two v two. Yeah, I really really like the formation, and that is the dangerous thing about about those two blocks right is if you can kind of lull rogelio into the sense of oh he's just going to keep them in a block it takes one turn of very crafty barrel rolls and movement to make things feel real bad but here we go we have rexler boosting in has the flank on those tie fighter squadrons all right where's the grand inquisitor going to go thinking about some pre-positions it and would for seem both sides it's all about avoiding over committing because that's that is where you get in big trouble with that that, that was pretty aggressive from rexler <laughs> yeah that was a yeah it's like i'm, I'm going for it because that involved advanced sensors right yes because he doesn't he didn't have any other tokens couldn't take any other actions Ooh, oh i have to say he's uh He's he's got uh, more stones than I do to more huevos. <laughs> I got be jumping in there with uh, token lists. Now one Bilingual thing I do over here. I do want to point out. You can see Sebastian is already setting those dials. He's pretty confident on what he wants to do this next turn, even without seeing where the Inquisitor is going to be going. <laughs> well, I don't really like where Rexler is, to be honest. I, especially with the one hearts from the bottom four, you can put one heart in. And just be staring him down right there, and I don't think advanced sensors is going to get him out of anything. It's going to be tough. Uh, he's, I, I imagine he's going to three turn left out next, out yep. next stop. Yeah. Out. All right. You know, an aggressive move that probably won't pan out for any damage. But we'll see how how the dice rolls go here. So Rexler has choice, so whatever whatever he wants there, he's going to take the range two shot onto white. Three dice on three. There is a focus token on that TIE Fighter. Two hits. Right now, outmaneuver is on, so that's only going to be two dice. And we're going to get first blood right there. Half Ooh, points instantly on off. white. Absolutely corrected. <laughs> uh, so... The the aggression is fantastic from uh, you know the, the ability to uh, fire on his target without being uh, 
fired back upon. Um, it's the the thing why the reason why I agree with you, Nick, is you have two asteroids exactly flanking him, uh, preventing any um, uh, sensor uh, barrel rolling, uh, pre pre position barrel rolling, <laughs> which limits his options uh, coming out of this turn. Uh, yeah, exactly. And sorry, I'm just reading the chat. You guys are saying dice cam. The dice cam was on there. The dice were on the. Overlay yeah, it, on I the turned screen. it on late. I turned it on a late. Bit of a lag there or delay, but. Yeah, it was on me. Okay. I, I was on late. Now, one one of the absolutely baller moves that could be coming here yeah. uh, is the boot advanced sensors boost forward 4K behind the formation if they hard turn at Rexler. That's always a cool one to see. The white 4K. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty Super. good. It, it is a bit of a gamble because uh, you're depending on uh, Sebastian to make sure... Like, uh, if Sebastian is, is super thorough, and uh, he could block those various boosts. Mm-hmm. All right, there's a two turn. So not the one turn, it's a two. Taking a focus. Fast blocker in the chat, Nick. You calling us liars. Infamous words of Josh Peck and Drake and Josh. Well, I ain't calling you a truther. <laughs> and one turns on the on the uh, bottom set here. All right, so th the K turn actually would be pretty amazing because he could he has uh, two good options then. He could boost straight or to the right, and all and either of those four Ks should fit. So kudos, Dion. Yeah, especially it looks. In. If the all these Tie Fighters are turning out, yeah. Oh my God, the four K looks delicious, delicious. Also, the uh, chance he did the three hard, like uh, D mentioned, and then he does the That's... boost three hard to uh, get out. Delicious is my exotic dancer name. <laughs> That's good Ridiculous. to know. I'm writing that down right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what the move is ooh, here. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Uh, he's, uh, ooh, he's doing the the finger wavy thing. Uh huh. Hey, D Dio, I got a question yeah. for you. You're the TO. Uh -huh. I feel like ultimately, like you, you have the final say in these events. Um, so we're not allowed to pre. -ma oh, it is the three turn that. Uh, that's that what, was oh, a safer did he do move. The advanced sensors boost return. He did. Yeah. Did that I was just a safer mention move. that as a possibility? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I thought I thought I I, th I thought I was talking about the three turn out. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned the three turn earlier. Then I was like, well, he could also do the advanced sensors boost and he yeah, yeah, yeah. 4K and then do the three turn, which right. Was going off of what you said, so that was just good teamwork right there. <laughs> high five. High uh, non-contact pandemic yeah. internet five. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ooh, slap, slap some skin. That's that's extra intimate these days. Um, oh my goodness. So Dion, uh, <laughs> let me see if I can articulate that thought. Uh, so uh, occasionally we see players on TTS uh, trying mm -hmm. to figure out their prepositions. Let's say Guri advanced sensors, right, or mm -hmm. any supernatural, you name it, by <laughs> waving their little fingers around uh, <laughs> to, to pre-measure. In real life, that would get an instant warning, as we are not permitted to do so. We need to eyeball everything. Right. Uh, so previously today, I did give a. It, it wasn't even like an official penalty point. I just said uh, to a player that I'd noticed doing that. Uh, if if you could avoid doing that <laughs> because it's in violation technically of uh, floor rules. But here's the problem. What's to stop a player from simply, you know, zooming in a little bit and using their actual finger on their monitor to do so? What, what's your take on uh, that sort of thing? Because yeah, I've been like sort of like wagging my finger, but letting it totally slide, really. Yeah, see, he, the... <laughs> The problem is the way we use computers, right? Is we we have the mouse there. How you, how are you not going to use the mouse, right? And on on Vassal, <laughs> let, I know that this isn't a Vassal tournament, but uh, on Vassal, most I would there's no way to even tell where people's mice are, right? So in it's one of those things. It's I almost just concede to it. It's like there's nothing I can do about it, um, and 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 for that reason, I. I <laughs> 
I put it in the realm of, I guess, I, not that necessarily that I don't care, but, uh, you know. Well, as long yeah. as it's fair both ways, right? Yeah. yeah. And I would be exactly. hesitant to call that, this cheater's going to cheat. I don't know. I, I'd be hesitant to call them cheaters and using just like this is the format that we're using right now it's not the official <laughs> format that we play right. in person typically so like I, I have now played a total of three tts uh, matches myself and mm -hmm. i have had to uh, i'm trying to train myself not to wave my my hand around during planning mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah oh yeah exactly because and this is what i was i was kind of trying i'm having a hard time articulating my my idea here but like when you use a computer right the Mouse is an extension of your eyes, not an extension of your hands. That's the way usually we function with the computer. So, like, when you moving your mouse to a spot that you're looking and kind of articulating what you're talking about is, is very natural when you use a computer. Um, and that's, that's the disconnect for sure. It will be weird, definitely, when we get back to a table uh, <laughs> to not have a little, little floating hands around. But, uh, you know, we, we have – this is what we got. Use it. And Sebastian is committing at Rexler. Mm -hmm. So, guys, what do you guys think about the Grand Inquisitor doing a one hard back up towards the top of the board, barrel rolling? I mean, Sebastian got, got his points. Like, it's just straight up. The <laughs> – <laughs> all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, for fifty-three minutes. We oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I oh, saw the players yeah. there. <laughs> Ro yeah, thank you. There's the advanced uh, so, so the Rogelio got his points. Uh, Sebastian ha is the onus is on Sebastian to to strike back. Really, I, I know we have fifty minutes left, but uh, moving all these ships, uh, you know, we, like how many turns are we really talking about? Well, I gotta say though that Sebastian's doing a great job plotting those dials down and moving. He's very fast paced right now. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> He's doing great. All right, um, Grand Inquisitor gets a chance to possibly uh, the, uh, <laughs> go ahead. The question I have about um, uh, Sebastian's tactics do you do you feel like some of these Tie Fighters really need to grab a target lock somewhere, where like as they can? Do you, do you know what I mean? Because it's going to be tough for these uh, two guns to to punch through either of these ships, as we discussed. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, it's going to be a frustrating engagements for for Sebastian to take. I think both players. There's going to be there's a lot of green dice being rolled. So here we go. We have yeah, Inquisitor probably way. using his ability. Oh, no, he's firing the um, the concussion missile. Here we go. Has a target lock. Oh, oh blank to blank. Ouch. I've seen that too many times. Yeah, plenty. Yeah, that's, you know, that's... That's super unfortunate. Moments. Yep. When you take the target lock and you re-roll into the city, you're like, this is why I had the target lock. Why did I re-roll into two blanks? Because it's mean, that's, possible, folks. It could still happen. <laughs> Like even even taking out the original bad roll uh, of the the hit blank blank, uh, rerolling two blanks into two more blanks is yeah. Not that's that's Not the likely. six percent. It's awful. Yeah. And here comes Rexler. Once again, plenty of green dice, plenty of results. Yeah. Now I want to remind everybody, as we have the TIE Fighters checking their range, we'll get their attacks here in a minute. I want to remind you that we'll be back tomorrow slash later, again, depending on when you're watching, uh, with the top <laughs> cut. We'll have the top 16. All right, here we go. First shot into the Grand Inquisitor from downtown. Still has both force available. For defense, that's only going to be... Uh, one. Ooh. And these ties barrel rolled so they have no mods here. Ah, okay. So it's going to be none. Nada. Yep. And uh, we'll have three shots going into Rexler. Has a low percentage chance, but having multiple shots into Rexler gives you an opportunity to maybe, maybe sneak a shield through. 
We got one hit. That's not gonna do it. <laughs> so that's that's what I'm talking about with the uh, grabbing locks. Uh, when you when you think you can get away with it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Being able to have two hits out there consistently in a single turn is going to net you a couple of those shields each turn. You, you, you need those target locks, for yeah, sure. That really separates the good players from the great players, too, when they, they capitalize on the moment. They have those instinctual moments. They're like, I can take the target lock here. Well, it's it's tough, lock. right? Like You can't even tactically analyze like where you think you can get, get away with the locks. You have to go by feel because That's right, yeah. these aces can be anywhere and hit anybody. So, yeah. I understand why uh, Sebastian wants those uh, focus tokens. All right, first, um, first like, well, token gets used the there. Wrong decision and not take the lock because again, it's all about well, am I going to keep myself susceptible to losing points here? I could get shot at. <laughs> I I just feel like um, man, w without target locks, uh, the variance is is really hard against Sebastian because blocking is going to be real tough. I I, I don't I don't like this choice to go after Rexler, although uh, <laughs> Rexler was the expedient target, the, the, the one that was closest. Um, but I, I, I think he's got better odds of blocking Inquisitor. Oh, man, it's rough both ways, right, with those advanced sensors and supernatural yeah. reflexes. Yeah, Holy cow. The more yeah. I think about this, oh, man, what a... What an amazing squad! The, the but let's talk is. about how many points that that Inqui the Grand Inquisitor is. Ninety two. If you <laughs> if you incredible. lose that Inquisitor, that feels super bad. <laughs> oh my god, feels bad. That, <laughs> also, 90, Ninety two points is like a, a Delta B Anakin. It's 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 in that level. <laughs> <laughs> well, with Supernatural too, you can link actions and then take the target lock. Uh, <laughs> yep. Blue uh, or uh, yeah. So then you could, that's what the concussion missiles come in handy there too. You can get that extra punch if you play, if you play it right. I think this is the next meta, guys. Supernatural advanced sensors, grand inquisitors. Here they come. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. I, we have to give both players credit. We haven't seen a lot of Focho recently, or at least I have not. Born one, Sebastian's done a great job today for Helio with this list. This is good for him. It's, it's astonishing. Um, it is. It's I, awesome. I, I'm, I'm pretty tired, and my eyes are wide open staring at uh, those upgrades <laughs> and, and, and uh, working them through. Like the ramific I'm not finished working the ramifications in my own mind. <laughs> like Just think about where the Inquisitor could be right now, all the different places, with the combinations of tokens. This Sir, Mr. Love says, somebody at the store champs we just had flew 117 points Super Kylo with Torps. <laughs> that thing was untouchable. <laughs> That's awesome. What was the other ship? <laughs> yeah, he, has, he needs two ships, so hopefully he had another one. Maybe like a Type Typho. It, no, 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 it, yeah, it's just an Epsilon, so that, that way you've got the for sure the bid, and the, the strategy is to kill 26 points and then run forever. Mm -hmm. Just get the dub. He had Lahuse and Null. Huh. <laughs> that doesn't sound like enough of a bid for Super Kylo. <laughs> no. Like yeah. if, you, if you're going to commit, commit. Come on, let's go. <laughs> no, I get it. Uh, Super Kylo does want a couple of good buddies just in case you run into the I6. That's right. That's Null. True. There to save the, the day. Bid if you're going against Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, grandson. <laughs> I have a crit for you. It was actually, so we're it. talking about, you're talking about target locks, taking target locks, and just the low probability of rerolling two blanks into two blanks. There's a lot of people talking, <laughs> about, talking about Vader. And so when I play, I think everybody, when they play Vader, they, they always expect three or four hits every time mm -hmm. out of Vader because he has the double mods. It's so true. So when you roll, you know, blank blank eyeball you spend the target lock and you roll blank eyeball with the two you re-rolled and that's frustrating and it's like this shouldn't ever happen but yeah it's possible <laughs> just feels really bad it oh happen. so we're, we're seeing a hard commit uh, yeah. from sebastian um 
No. I think he, <laughs> yeah. he's trying to bully. He's trying to bully. Okay. So he's trying to nullify Rexler Brath. Nope. That is a that is a pretty hard commit. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. And and it's, so it's, what, what he's feels... threatening there. He's threatening the Grand Inquisitor from coming in with a couple of the TIE fighters. Ah, uh, there you go. Little five three split. Ah, uh, so what what feels really bad is uh you know we we can conjecture what Rogelio dialed up, but uh, man, that advanced sensors can just bail Rexler out. It's 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 not it's not the standard Rexler where okay, I'll leave a ship in uh, the four K spot, <laughs> and that takes care of most of it. Mm -hmm. So what do you got? What would you do then if you were to? Like if you were flying for Rogelio, dialing in Rexler's move, what do you, what would you be doing here? Coming up? Oh, I just a uh, hard bailout. Like like I said earlier, you've got the points. You you gotta yep. you gotta you gotta make Sebastian come to you. Yeah, the hard three sounds great. Hard three to the left. You can right now. You just bear, like to make sure you make it. You barrel roll to the left. Do the hard three. You're fine. You might even actually make the hard three, but I don't think it's worth the risk. Taking the shots, just yeah. get out. I, and the Grand Inquisitor. I think that hard three would clear, yeah. Choosing, uh, choosing violence here. Ooh, oh, the advanced the sensor advanced shenanigans. <laughs> yes, is. it it is it is violence. <laughs> and do the four K. Wow. There it is. Yeah, and, the, and again, the linked action combination there for anybody who's missing it. The uh, the combination of moves there on the Grand Inquisitor, you have the um, uh, the sup the advanced sense. Uh, sorry, the supernatural was for the movement. The advanced sensors is for the target lock, and then doing the move after that. Pretty awesome. Pretty good. And we're waiting for Rexler now. Probably looking at his mo movement here. Uh, by the uh, by, the hand motions, it, I believe that he might be going forward somewhere because he's kind of uh, floating out that way. I'm sure Sebastian is hoping that he's going forward. <laughs> there, really there could very easily be a forward five, in which case uh, uh, Rogelio probably needs to barrel roll. Left. Right. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah. It's a, you take the, he could take even the go one. left and try and ram the green Epsilon. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you're only taking that one range one shot. And I think that's what we have. Let's see. Yep. And got the bump. All right. That's, that is not bad. You're taking only one shot. Yeah. All right, Grand Inquisitor into the yellow TIE Fighter. Uh, Oof. Well, oh, jeez. This is why you take a target lock. You're all right. You're right. right. This is why you take it. We'll see what he gets here. Everybody who's watching, want to remind you guys you're watching round six. This is our last round of Swiss. We'll be back later slash tomorrow. Again, it depends on where you are in the world with the top cut with a more rested Dion, Nick, Andy. <laughs> more rested for all of us. Is he spending the force? Use the force. No. He's <laughs> <laughs> debating it. One, yep, okay, he's going he for it. <laughs> Two hits. Uh, a reasonable choice, considering uh, it's a tokenless. No, is it? To no, it has a token. Hmm. And uh, oh. well, Tip no damage. Tips over. Spend all day every day. All day yeah, every day. Without token, I think that's the correct choice. With the token, I, I probably would have passed. I could end up with a situation where you need a supernatural and a force the following that. Ooh, Rexler, oh, three Oh, he hits. got the over. Unmodded from Rexler there. And okay. takes a damage. Good evade one, as well. 
Yep, first shield on shield to there. yellow. Thalen Star so Dackle, thank you so much for the sub. This range one shot back did not spend the focus token. This is the opportunity to peel off some damage on Rexler. If he doesn't do it, it's going to feel really bad. Get some shields, fam. Get them. He's three on three, but he does have the focus. Rexler's got nothing. Oh, One. Oh. A lot of uh, ineffectual red dice this match. Yeah, oh, it. just gets it. <laughs> oh, well, Sebastian. Rexler's gone rest of the game. Rexler's just, <laughs> you're not doing Rexler rest of the game. The expectation there was a, probably one, to, to be fully you know, to, to fair and honest, only one shield probably yeah. on that attack. But not, you know, not getting any is, is brutal. All right, here, I have a question for the yeah, chat. Where you, where you have it. I have a question for the chat. Who here has been all six games? Anybody out there? Anybody? Nice. You guys you guys are are are, are awesome. Now awesome. to um, what was the question you just you were about to ask, Nick? Oh me. Uh mm -hmm. I was what was I gonna say? <laughs> it's late for me too. Okay, actually you know what I just <laughs> I just remember I remember what I was gonna say. Okay. So somebody had asked, can we see the dice stats after this? So I I will tell you one thing. I'm not a huge fan of pulling up dice stats for stream games. Um, mostly because people can get kind of weird about it. Like I, I just, there's, there's some feel bad. Like if the players are curious, it's great. I, I prefer not to, <laughs> I prefer not to look it up just cause I, I want players to think about their flying more than their dice. If they're curious, they can check it themselves. And it, it's weird too. Like even the, I mean, sure. If it's like completely lopsided, that's one thing, but you, you can have even distribution for both players. But, uh, if, if the, if the key roles in, in you know in, in those like big punchy spots mm -hmm. ended up being like all four hits for one player and all blanks in, in one key spot then that you know swings the match that's yeah. not reflected in overall stats either i think people forget too that it's like it's a 50 50 shot of just rolling a natural hit or a crit with, with, with that's high probability without a mod <laughs> <laughs> so people don't really, you know, there's only two blanks on the red dice. Guys. It's possible you could roll four hits, just natty four hits. Very possible. So uh, here, here's a little little update for anyone following my ghost saga. There is one one person there <laughs> referencing it. Yeah. Uh, Eli and I have now committed to never, ever complaining about variance, whether it's dice or matchup or damage deck, uh, because we got spooked. We just, <laughs> we had a match where yeah uh, I blocked Eli up right he throws seven consecutive hits just natties and then on on my one return shot I have that's double modded I triple blank out and just just fail utterly and we did the math it's it's scary <laughs> so we're we're done we're All right. Looks I was, like well, I was flying on to two ship Vader uh, Whisper list. I've never flown Whisper before, but I rolled six straight blanks with Whisper, and she died in ten minutes. <laughs> all the I had like I, I had the evades. I had the force. I had the I had everything I needed. Oh, I needed. so that's yeah. an interesting <laughs> set of moves. Right. I gotta say, honestly, if I'm Sebastian, I don't know how I handle this. This is a nightmare. Um. With these prepositions, uh, so he, he <laughs> Sebastian, I know is like I've seen him uh, play multiple matches. He's he's a next level player. He's trying to clog up as much as he can, and just you know, try and catch that damage. Like like you know he all that work last turn. He got one range one shot on uh, Rexler and was not rewarded for. It. And there's there's the first target lock. He feels like that. Uh, Magenta TIE Fighter is safe. I have an opportunity here to, to get a lock because I'm tired of these red blanks. That's right. And the fact that the Grand Inquisitor also spent a force this turn does make this turn a little bit more dangerous uh, if Sebastian is going to be able to get multiple shots on that Grand Inquisitor. Well, uh, being stressed, he wouldn't be able to preposition anyway this turn. True. 
True. I, I guess I'm just talking about the situation of not having that force for defense. Oh, sure enough. Mm-hmm. So this I is where it starts force. to really play into Rogelio's hand is when you really split up the swarm and start turning in all different directions, facing different angles. It makes it just, just always an avenue for both of these pre-positioned ships to do what they want. I, I got to admit, I'm, I'm getting a real headache from this match because I'm trying to follow Sebastian's pre-positions. Um, or <laughs> Sebastian's uh, attempt to block and harass the prepositions, and uh, I kind of I, I lost wo- I lost the thread. <laughs> what what mm-hmm. do you make of uh, the move uh, the various moves from those five up top uh, by Rexler? Are you talking? Uh, to, who are you asking? So, I mean, oh, either one of you, it's or easy. on the right side of the Twitch screen. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, Re- Rexler. The, I feel like Rogelio is playing probably a little bit more aggressive than I think UD probably would expect him to play. Because in, in me as well, I was thinking more of, on the defensive, the, the like you don't have to over pursue. But that five straight was really aggressive. There is a timeline where um, Rexler could have been looking at three, four shots coming in. So right now I think uh, Rogelio is, is looking for opportunities to shoot, I think, uh, rather than trying to survive. You know, we got 33 minutes left, but it feels like a lot less time considering how complacent Sebastian needs to be. He needs to be constantly, he's just, he's just trying to get a couple shots lined up on these guys. It's just so difficult. And to kind of piggyback off of what you were saying earlier, Nick, with the swarm kind of being all turned around, I mean, that is the kind of the this mess is created when you commit to a plan. But the problem, like you're trying to like I'm trying to get a block, have some arcs pointed in a certain direction. But that's how you have to play against these two ship lists, especially with these prepositions. You have to guess. And a lot of times um, I think it w- the game I'm thinking of specifically um, Paul Heaver versus Duncan Howard at PAX. Uh, you saw Paul turn his his vultures all over the place, just trying to cover all these different angles that uh one of the aces could have gone and this is that same idea is you have to overcommit the problem of course for these tie fighters is that they're not as uh, as maneuverable um as uh as some of those um and some of those vultures in that case uh we got rexler taking that shot into red it was the one that bumped yep hit crit not nah, just natties baby <laughs> and consider where uh, the amount of space that Rexler just covered in those two turns, uh, just t- two dials ago, uh, he was uh, completely in uh, like the lower right area of, of the board and now has completely juked those uh, five uh, pursuing TIE fighters and is, is engaging the other, <laughs> the other set of three. Hey, there's two hits, D. Woo! No, has an evade Daddy's. on that Rexler, so probably okay. He's fine. Spend the evade. No problem. Oh, we got into a, a real argument or I, with, with Mitch Hurst on Friday Night Dogfights. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm plugging that. Thanks. Fly better Friday Night Dogfights. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, uh, Mitch was claiming that any set of rules that are identical are natty. <laughs> well, those are natties. <laughs> oh, my Jeez. God. <laughs> like he, he was claiming um two blanks are natties they're natural blanks <laughs> Go do you home, buy this Mitch, you're drunk no 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 <laughs> false this it's that, false advertising you have that shirt the natty the natty blanks this is the way blanks <laughs> but that says this is the way it doesn't say natties that's the difference <laughs> <I know. laughs> I, I feel like natties is just when you get exactly what you need without modifying the dice. Yeah, I, I take I take well, that. Well, if you have heroic, then it is kind of exactly what you like. Not what you <laughs> wanted, but maybe what you need to get the reroll. I'll no, play nobody, nobody wants. I love Mitch. Mitch is a good guy. I'll I'll I'll, I'll side with Mitch just for fun. 
All right, so Sebastian is in uh, a bad spot, but the game could swing at any moment. He just needs two damage on the Inquisitor. Suddenly, he's in great shape. Mm -hmm. How does he get back positioning-wise in this game? X-Wing is a game of positioning. Where does he need to get to to give him a good, uh, the strongest possible chance of uh, winning this match? Well, you got to bring those... Because Rexler is just gone. Yeah, he's, right? he's all over the place, <laughs> yep. I think the biggest problem, like, red and white are essentially, th they're fodder. They have to try to <laughs> try to not be destroyed in the next turn, because I think it's going to take, uh, it's going to take two or three turns to get that right, that right side set of TIE fighters turned in the right direction. Like, to be, being able to bring them together, you do something like a, maybe like a three turn for blue, and maybe barrel roll down just to give yourself an extra turn. You hard turn, maybe one turn with brown, barrel roll in, um, bring pink to the top as well, and try to converge on uh, on the Grand Inquisitor. Because I, I think Grand Inquisitor, you might have a chance to get him in the next couple turns. You just got to make sure that you have those uh, arcs in the right direction. And for Rahelio, then, he's he's got to get the Inquisitor into more open space away from the bulk of the Focho, right? And mm -hmm. and Brath, like, is is there a universe where he doesn't 4K with Brath here? No, that's because you can you have literally three different spots you could be in for it. I mean, and they're all safe, and you like four. you don't care. <laughs> four oh yeah, spots. you're right. Sorry, there are four. <laughs> that's so filthy. So I mean, uh, the, the worst one is to like boost forward and then. <laughs> And then go over that rock, but I mean that's only a fifty percent chance he just even takes the one damage, and that's that's I feel like that's the worst case scenario. Agreed. It may be it may be late, Dion, but Titan Two saying he loves the commentary, so you're, you're just such a pro. <laughs> you guys are such pros. Oh, I'll, I'll, we we can we can wreck it. It's not too late, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> I, never, I never I never said that you you, you could. I mean, we're only it. a single we're, we're one button press away. <laughs> we're all, oh, we are running we, we are no running out of time. There are know. only 27 minutes left to to mention something about pickles. No. Oh. Ruined. Oh, ruined. There it goes. I'm going, I'm going to bed. I'm here. done. I'm all, I'm done. It's all downhill from here. I love I love you Australians. I love you Australians, but man, <laughs> so in the back of my head, I'm like, is this worth it? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it right now. I love Just them. Starting to sound drunk. All right, one hit rolled on the rock. That's going to be a damage. That's the first shield there on red. So I do like that. That prevents the straight K turn. Yep. You still got the K turn. I, mean, I guess you bump. I guess the best case scenario, hopefully the rock is uh, is an ace and can uh, get you some damage if Rexler did the K turn. Did he merely cross the rock, or is he actually he's actually on it, huh? He is on it. Oh, yeah, brutal! Because then then that means the K the correct K turn is barrel roll to the right and then just go tee hee. And this could matter later on. We have red and brown, both with one shield down, just one away from half. It could be a point where Sebastian gets himself back in the game, and then one of those ships just bleeds a damage card, and then there's a swing. So it's, it's important to remember for later on, next couple <laughs> engagements. And and then for <laughs> this, this is why I'm though completely frustrated for all the doom and gloom we're throwing Sebastian's way at the moment. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> if he if he just blocks that Inquisitor somehow, right? Yep, he gets a couple of clean shots. But Nick, I, I do think I mean this this is just confirmation bias really, but but I, I do think that you and I are geniuses and, and we're correct in <laughs> that uh targeting Rexler Brath first, uh or primarily uh was maybe a high likelihood of uh, Sebastian's downfall because of the difficulty in punching four health off of Oh yeah, uh, off of breath, as opposed to just two. Especially if breath can take the two tokens. Oh, so this is interesting. Oh, okay. Does Qu that Quizzer's boost? In the box. Does that bank boost fit? <laughs> is it? 
am I a bad person for wanting advantage templates right here? Get get that skinny one back in there. <laughs> I don't think no. that fits. He's thinking about it. I don't <laughs> think it does. I don't think so either. I, I think the I back think the, just clip that that rock. The clip the the left the left truck nut of the asteroid. <laughs> They are not called cheat templates, Fan Kyushi. Come on. <laughs> they're called advantage templates. Oh, they're not cheating because at any time, like, like when I move from my opponents, like, I tell them, like, hey, I'll give you the slack. Which way you want it? Evade and clench. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I, I think the boost might fit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give everybody the top down view. Here it is right here. I think oh. it fits. That wants it to fit. I think that, that fits. Fit. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> what do you, what do you guys think? Yes things. or no in the chat right now? Yes or no? I'm showing you the view. I don't think it does. No, everyone resounding that, knows. No. That that upper nub is going to clip that upper nub. Yeah, I agreed. That Absolutely. protuberance. This is not don't, a good spot. Don't do it. <laughs> I mean, it could. This could be game defining right here. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Right. Although I do want him to try it just to, just for the just for the pure nature of do we want to see if it fit or not. I'm even tempted to like barge in there and go, hey, like if he decides not to, <laughs> can we just see? <laughs> We can, you know what? We can solve this right now. I can just save the game state and we can figure it out later. <laughs> Do it up. There it is. It's been done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what though? We're, we're pushing uh, the 30 salami cat. So uh, I, I'm going to instruct. Uh, we have 20 plus minutes to contemplate the move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we're, we're at that point. Uh, a, a choice must be made. What, what, what table are they? Uh, there. Focus is the call. Focus. Here we go. Focus. Okay. okay. All right. Good. Ooh, not the evade. That's does intriguing. Have, does have the two force to be able to uh, avoid one of those range one shots, potentially both. Right. Oh, he's when he's moving. <laughs> the focus off. What's happening? Do you think about a roll, linked action here, maybe? All right, I'm, uh, b b b what table are they? Although I don't technically know. Technically, the focus comes last. Oh, there we go. There it is. And focus barrel roll. There it is. All right, so he's going to be eating some shots here. Inquisitor, there is definitely a threat. But Rexler Brath gets to go first. Range one yep. into the white TIE fighter opportunity to take it off the board here yep this one already has taken two damage let's find out four dice no mods got three though oh he got the over again it's consistent three hits now with those unmodded range one shots two in a row for rexler oh and he's gone he's gone white tie fighter off the board that's 25 points in the bank for those who maybe were just like me, wondering why multiple times now he was rolling one less agility is because of outmaneuver. I'd forgotten that. that. <laughs> That's so good. Very good. All right, Grand Inquisitor hoping to probably strip that focus off of the green TIE fighter. Damage is a bonus. Got one. He's going to spend it. So that... Yeah, that's interesting. That's if you're willing to spend, move. if you were willing to spend the force, did, would it have made sense to uh, throw three dice to begin with? He was probably waiting to see what he rolled. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Spends a focus to avoid the damage. All right. First shot. Actually, it looks... Is he not on the rock? I thought he was on the rock. Did he not make it? Actually, I don't think so. This is oh, so no. He's, he, he is not on the rock. 
Very nice. And uh, okay. let's let's give a big shout out to uh, Crazy Vulcan. Not for not only for all the work he does on TTS, but uh, in my current absence, in my uh, escape from the judge shed, he has he has taken over and is uh, making calls. Nice. Oh, three evaded again. I evaded. Nice. All right, Grand Inquisitor. Going to be taking a few shots here. Let's find out if we have any big swings. Half point in the Grand Inquisitor would be massive. One hit. Not going to do it like that. Let's get some drama. All right. <laughs> no squiggle. On. No squiggle. <laughs> Force them to spend. <laughs> safe, 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 safe. All right, here's another range three shot. Oh, so that's interesting force management. He just spent the focus, right, to to dodge one instead of uh, spending the force. Uh, no, he did spend the force. It's again only one. That's not going to do it. It's just... Safe. Oh, he got the squid. <laughs> uh, defense. Oh, he did. Huh. All right, two more shots coming. He's got green and yellow left. I thought he had green and... Flip this force back. I'm confused. No, he did spend the focus? What? Well, he, he definitely spent a force on his attack. Is he done? What, was that all the shots? <laughs> oh, jeez. I, I don't think green shot. I'll pop in there and inquire. Yeah. Yeah, let's find out. Yep, green. I'm pretty sure I'm like 99% sure that green didn't fire. He didn't want to. <laughs> Why would you not want three. to? Let's see. I guess I can try to check the log. No, Cadet 3, I don't see a, a don't range see check. Three in there. I don't see 3 in there, yeah. <laughs> Green is a pacifist. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Titan 2, that's awesome. There we go. Range two. Two hits. Okay. There's, there you're saying the there's a chance. Always take the shot. Uh, one out there's the box. One, out one out the blank box. equals a sh gets you a shield. That's a shield, fam. Oh my goodness. That's a shield. For those of you who've seen Shawshank Redemption, when Andrew Dufresne finally escapes, looks up at this guy that's Sebastian right now, it can be done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They uh, they are tired. I, I can hear the weariness in Sebastian's voice. Yeah. <laughs> I have to I have to shout out Shazbot GG in the chat. My boy Brandon says, "Can we allow four Tie Fighters to crash into each other and form Quick Draw Voltron?" Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm I'm in. Whatever. It's a form of docking, right? <laughs> yes. So just well, I mean, it's it's your event. You can call whatever audible you want. You you can just say, "All right, for the final match, we're just going to throw." Uh, um, <laughs> Like Legion, Legion. <laughs> TTS Legion out there, and like if you don't know the rules, like well, you better catch up quick. The uh, the last the last uh, for Coruscant players can swap out two of their obstacles for an epic ship. Doesn't get to shoot, but it's an obstacle. <laughs> Would you guys watch? I'm curious, <laughs> you viewers. I, I listen. I have always wanted the like actually to, in a tournament to be able to use epic ships as obstacles. I just think it, it just looks so good. It just looks so they good. They talked about it. Like, why not? Why not? You could so, uh, just turn the top four into one outer rim match if you get tired. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm done. It's a good game, by the way, guys. I, I really enjoy playing that game. It's very fun. 
and it's a dice pack too. <laughs> maybe so, we do the next tournament series. Maybe the next tournament series we allow people to use. Um, we allow people to use epic ships as obstacles. How about that, D? What do you think? I, I, I'm game. <laughs> I'm trying to re I'm trying to remember the rules for it because because FFG did at some point like at least discuss it mm -hmm. as, as a as an option for like low level kit tournaments. I feel uh, ep our epic yeah, so players out there. I'm sure I'm sure somebody <laughs> out there knows knows what the what the actual rules are. Let us know. I'm curious. Maybe we'll allow it. I think you could fly of... through them, like past them. Mm-hmm. So Inquisitor's in an interesting spot. There are a lot of ships. We got four ships down at the bottom right or in the middle right there that are. Yep. Do you find it interesting lock. that Red is was still keyed on to uh, Rexler taking the lock there instead of, you know, like a prayer at having Grand Inquisitor because he just needs one more. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. That would be that would be looking. We'd be looking at forty six. Oh, look at this! Two, look at this! This is a kill five. box, ladies and gentlemen. That's, That's a kill box. That is a kill box. Absolutely. Because Grand Inquisitor cannot supernatural or advanced sensors right now. And that is that is Block City. That is saying, <laughs> listen, you go <laughs> through he's, the rock he's just or you bumping go to me. get the shot. What about a one a kind of one bank and then barrel roll? Ooh, yeah. spicy. Hello there. Yeah, barrel roll could even get you out of out of uh, Gray's arc, potentially. It would be close. It does get out of grays, not pinks, but gets you into range one of brown. Right. Uh, but Inquis Inky has that yep, really nifty the ability. Shot. Yep. <laughs> First time caller. How, how about a hammer as an obstacle? No. There can only be one. There can only be one. There it is. All right. Takes the roll. Yep. Left forward. Maybe... Maybe, Maybe he touched not. pink. Maybe oh, my I don't. Mm. Close. That's I think super pink close. I think pink Defender, Rexler yeah. doing his thing. There's the four. Oh, he didn't care. He's gonna take a couple shots. He's uh, just like, what's up? Homie does not care. Now keeping the Inquisitor stress is an absolutely is absolutely fantastic for Sebastian. Is giving him an opportunity to possibly do damage here. I mean, Although, it's negating two very expensive upgrades. Mm -hmm. Although I, I think where the Inquisitor is now, this should be fine. I think this next turn. All right, range one shot from Rexler Brath into the yellow tie FO. Four dice coming in, and that is three. Not needing to spend that focus again. Outmaneuver. Outmaneuver is live. Only two. Oh, oh, brutal. Pop, pop, pop. Yellow had not taken any damage yet, so that is a shield and two cards. He is still alive, but has given up half uh, points. Yep. Could die with console fire. Oh, was one of them a crit? There's no crits in there. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> marksmanship? Is there marksmanship or anything? Or? Whoa, 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 oh, mm. hit crit Let coming in from there. Grand Inquisitor. Oh, Rexler's ab wait, Rexler's ability. But it wasn't. It was there were no crits in there. Oh no, it's his. You flip the damage card over if you're uh, you're evading. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. Right. I was thinking about Merrick Steel. Yeah. Yes, his correct. Ability. After you perform an attack that hits, if you, if you are evading, expose one of the defender's damage cards, which you can do immediately. You can resolve that ability during the attack. There, it's the cards been dealt. Yep. Beautiful. We got this. It's correct. They did it right. Sebastian's just double checking. Here we go. Defending. Oh, taking hit, oh. hit, crit on the gray TIE fighter. So they, they did get it correct with uh, Brath. It's an aftermath ability because it's it's not after you after you hit. It's after you perform an attack that hits. So it's after steps one through five. 
Mm -hmm. So in step six, uh, Brath's ability goes off, in which case there is a damage card there to flip. We just got a panic pilot on the Epsilon Squadron, Gray. Only one hit going into Rex to Brath. Literally does not matter with the evade sitting there. A lot, a lot there. Natty's baby. Did Gray? I think Gray only rolled two of eight dice. Do I gotta jump back in there? Uh, is this that? Was this it? Gray only rolled two. No, Quizzer can't have out. No, there's nothing. Really there. Yeah. Did they see the message? I don't know yet. We'll find out. <laughs> it uh, is a really see, long yeah. scroll to, to room five from commentary room. <laughs> All right. I think yellow just drew that last card for council fire. So yellow is off the board. Does that evade rolls require a correction? Uh, I think so, yeah. Let's just, right, just roll one over. die. Which, a uh, gray? Did only roll? A gray. Gray only rolled two. Two dice, okay. There you go. They just, they just rolled one. It didn't matter. It was a blank. All right, okay. cool. We're good. Okay, right on. This is getting away from Sebastian, unfortunately. 63 now. Even if you get half on Inquisitor, it's only 46. Yeah, as long as you were ha you had like half of, of one of those two ships left, um, like able to get and be, uh, be oh my God, words. You know, I mean, I'm making, I'm trying to emphasize Nick's point. Yes. Uh, yeah, you're you're walking the line between trying to protect your list and to do damage with your list, and it's hard to find that balance in this kind of matchup. What he said. Yeah. Pacific time, baby. Only 3 a.m., not 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got some All extra right. juice in the tank. Two evades. I have none. <laughs> They're all gone. Let's, only... let's just start doing the commentary in all different languages. It'll amount to the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use my best uh, telenovela voice. <laughs> nice. One hit. 안녕하세요. 우리 오늘 X-Wing tournament 하고 있어요. <laughs> Two hits. Oh, actually, has to spend the focus. Oh, yeah. All right, but no, I didn't up. net any damage. That should have been tornamento. What what language were you speaking? <laughs> well, we know, oh, you, very you, very you, terrible you, Korean. You are oh, okay. one to make mistakes. So I, <laughs> That's the best thing about TTS. I can't knock over ships doing an arc check. It's that's a, the it's most beautiful. scary thing when I judge the world with you. <laughs> that is the most terrifying thing that could happen. It's like, oh god. Can aren't you excited for when we when when this pandemic is over? I'm I'm, I'm going to try to speak it into existence. When this is all over and we can get back to playing on the table, how sloppy! Oh my god, we're going to be so sloppy on this table. <laughs> like, oh, I got to set up again. Why? Oh, I got bumped. Like, I got. Why isn't this automated? <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Let me I'm looking dice stats. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey FFG, can, can you program this into your miniatures already? Gosh. <laughs> uh, the auto, like not having automatic bumps. <laughs> oh my god! Let's just talk about the stream. People, we've become so spoiled, right? I have become spoiled. It, I mean, D, you've been there. It takes me like two hours about to really get the stream set up, like how I really like it. I can do it in about an hour. <laughs> um, this literally take. I can do this in. I, I can get because because I have it all like kind of pre pre set up. The first few times it took me a while, but uh, once you have it set up, it's it's you know I sit down and just go. I don't have to carry around giant cases. I don't have to go on any <laughs> airplanes. Oh, I mean, I'm looking forward to flying around and bringing you guys that awesome in-person X-wing action once we can. But you'll but. you'll you'll feel frustrated the first one, especially if uh if people 
quote unquote help you and uh, roll up your cables uh, inappropriately. That's right. <laughs> Just have Nick Arian set up at all. Oh my god. <laughs> How does Bingo! My, there's there's an I, there's a winning idea. How much does my equipment weigh? Um, I have to check. I check two bags that are just barely under fifty pounds each. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I've you know, I've I've helped drag them around a, a bit, and sometimes, oh, um, man, Poland, like those co- they weren't cobblestones. What were oh, they? Oh, that was terrible, <laughs> dude. They were bricks. They were just straight bricks. <laughs> You know what? I'm just gonna pick this up now. I don't care how far it is. I'm just gonna man up and 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 just heft it. Yeah. Just uh, deadlift these. All four right, we, there is a match happening. <laughs> yep, yep. We got four minutes and change. I mean, yeah. We're we we're just talking patrons from wrath, and yep. uh, Inky is now free. Get a sled dog. I'm not paying. I'm not paying for a ticket for a dog on an airplane. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only reason why. <laughs> you know. You know what the the. <laughs> this is just my OCD. But the thing bugging me most, um, about uh, the all the live events being canceled, mm-hmm. is uh, you know how I've been trying to keep that database of uh, alt arts going. Oh, it gets a hot um, mess, at, dude. At the, the second system open, which turned out to be the last one, mm-hmm. uh, some of the price support wasn't there. So mm. I just went, ah, it's fine. Uh, just, just, I told Yeti, just save my judge points for the next event. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That's just unfortunate. That's so Man. <laughs> I, I hope we see a, like, you know, players get a chance to, to get that system open swag because... Uh, oh. Man, it was amazing. Uh, especially those generics, those uh, clear mm-hmm. cards. Yeah, just gorgeous. Just Chris just ordered Outer Rim. You guys can totally play Outer Rim on TTS. The scripted setup is fantastic. I like <laughs> what is it? So that, that means tomorrow we just need two rounds and then one round of Outer Rim. You can call it a day. <laughs> That's right. We're really not going to do that, guys. No worries. <laughs> Unl- unless it's four Nantex in the fi- in, in, in the top four, then maybe we will. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm going to be putting on stream all day tomorrow. Lats, save us. HMP gunship, save us. Psy shuttle, save us. I'm just hoping that the hype for those new ships will will at least, you know, th- I think I think that will at least... Uh, Give us some uh, some variation for can, sure. Can you imagine? Like we're we're hyping up for squadrons, right? Imagine oh, yeah. being in a Tie Fighter, and oh, you see these two ships blipping around. <laughs> They're like, where was it? Now it's there. You got to be kidding me! <laughs> what is going on? Oh yeah, I can't shake them. <laughs> no, no. that over and over. Again. You're right. You can't. <laughs> uh, let's see. Somebody has lots of man. Arrow McArcher, lots of man text. I, th- I think it was over. Tw- there was twenty spam text lists. I heard that number thrown out today. Um, oh, there were twenty five, twenty four or five. I want to say. Yeah. Uh, right. In fact, uh, the player count Ooh, three hits was like he just natted his hits. Oh my goodness, Rexler just doesn't care. Killing it. Taking uh, two, like, right literally there, killing gray. ships. Gone. Oh, uh, I, that's one less shot back. Oh, I'm gray. Okay. Piewood wagon. I don't know. Math is math I, math. I, I have to say this real quick. Piewood drag uh, wagon. I appreciate your sub and thank you. Even in this interesting state that we're in right now, uh, just dead tired. Thank you for your sub. It's truly appreciated. That that um, is all. <laughs> that's like twenty percent, right? The spam twenty five. Well, like there were. <laughs> there were very nearly, very nearly, by just like a couple, as many Nantexes as there are players in the event. Oh, to- oh. like total Nantex. Uh, oh, that's you probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dio. <laughs> one for one. If someone else uh, d- d- do a sub and, and distract us from our pain. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. We're fine here. How are you? 
By hey, the time hey, need, double, hits, the, double hits, double oh, hits. Oh, God, he doesn't even need the token. Today. Oh. It's fine. By the time people see this video on YouTube, it uh, we, no. we will have the new ships. Yeah, no, no, no damage is going through here. Good luck. I will have Good edited luck. it. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nick in the future. How are you? Uh, You're doing a great right. job, buddy. Keep it up. Time in the round. <laughs> yep. A fascinating match, though, Nick. <laughs> It, yeah, it was. It, hey, you can't blame me. I saw Rexler, Brath, Grand Inquisitor. I'm like, we're doing this. Absolutely. That's making it in the top cut. We're very excited. All right. Well, this is the last couple of rolls here defensive rolls for that defender and just shaking off all of it. I think that's all she wrote. Congratulations to Rogelio Hernandez. <laughs>